with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks for tuning in. I am doing a mint chocolate chip soap today. It's kind of Christmassy. It's kind of summery. It's one of those soaps that I'm like, maybe it could be all year round. But I've already poured in my lye solution and there's some buttermilk powder and kaolin clay in there and I'm going to give this a whirl and get started. All right, that's at a light trace. This soap idea came to me in a couple different ways. I have leftover soap every now and then that I'm always holding on to that maybe I can do something with. So the Harry Potter soaps that I did for the first time in the cake form, I had some leftover batter and I poured them up into some square rectangle mold things and I just cut them up into chunks that look like the chocolate chip part that's going to go in this soap. And then I had some leftover soap that I made into soap dough and I've kind of shaped it into what hopefully looks like an ice cream cone. I have seen a soap company in California, one of those videos that pops up on your Facebook, and they put a lot of embeds inside of their glycerin soap. So there was like palm trees and hearts and flowers and lips and just all kinds of crazy, even like an ice cream cone, that's where I saw it. And I was like, that's really cool. I wish I could do more stuff like that. So I've just added in my mint chocolate chip fragrance oil. And then I'm going to add in some of the Alpine green mica powder. And then we'll give that a mix. I also have some vanilla color stabilizer in that fragrance because there's like 3% vanillin in it. And I'm only putting, I'm gonna start with a little bit of this green because I don't want it to be too dark. I want to get that mint chocolate chip color. So let's give that a mix. Alright, good there. I've also been watching Pink Dahlia Soaps videos and boy is she getting creative over there with leftover soap dough that she's been embedding into different shapes into her soap. Like that is just some hard work and dedication there. <laughs> True artwork. If you've never seen any of her soaps, go over and check her out, Pink Dahlia Soaps. She's just done some crazy movie soaps recently with fancy shaped embeds in there. I don't really have all the patience to do that, but she is a true artist, so go look at her stuff. In case mine doesn't turn out. <laughs> all right, so I also have some spearmint leaves here that I thought might look really good in the soap. I'm gonna dump them in, just, just to add a little speckle in there and a little exfoliation. And because it's mint, I added mint. And don't be fooled by this color. I don't think it's going to stay this color. Greens and blues get a little funky when you add them to oils. But once it saponifies, it should look a whole lot better. All right, so now that that is all together, I'm happy. And I'm going to start pouring this into my mold. And then I'm going to add in my ice cream cone embed. <laughs> so I've imagined this soap with the embed kind of sitting in the corner on its side. So I'm going to start by pouring in some of this batter. I'm going to let it set until it's thick enough for me to put that embed in there because it is really, really heavy and I don't want it to sink to the bottom. So I think that looks good. I'll wait till that is a little thicker and then we'll place the embed in it. All right, let's see if I can get this in there. Put in the rest of the batter. And then I'm gonna turn this on its side back, or back on its back on its butt. Like that. Pour in some more of the batter. And then those little chocolate cubes, I'm gonna start randomly placing them inside and on top. <clears throat> Loving this mint chocolate chip. I feel like mint chocolate chip is a 
it's like a Christmassy scent, but it's also ice cream, so it can be summer. So I'm really liking this mint chocolate chip theme for all year round. I don't know if I want to make ice cream in beds every time I make the soap, though. We'll see. All right. So I've added in. Well, we add them in where I'm going to cut it. That might make some sense. Just a few little pieces on the inside. And then the rest of them I'm going to put on the top. Alright. This smells so good. Ah. Having a really good day today. I don't know. It's sunny outside. It's not raining for once. I can open the windows. It's nice enough to do that. I got my hair cut today. And I really, really got a haircut because I took nine inches of my hair off. Bradley's not seen it yet. He's at work. Last time my hair was this short was probably eight years ago. I haven't cut my hair this short in a long time. I've just been growing it out. And it feels so much lighter. Like I feel like I just chopped all my hair off. It's still kind of too short but I'm sure I'll get used to it. it'll grow out it's hair right that's what we say it'll grow out all right so I think this needs to thicken up a little bit so that I can texturize the top of this before putting on the rest of these embeds perhaps let's give this a whack the rest of this on and then I'll add those little chocolate chunks to the top of it. I don't know what made me go cut my hair. <laughs> it was just so long and I never did anything with it and I feel like a frumpy old lady with that long hair. <laughs> so it's really really short. It's not. It is. I can't decide. <laughs> And I never get my hair cut that often. The lady who cuts my hair, she's been cutting my hair since I was like 13. I showed up today and she was like, wow, I didn't think I'd see it here twice in a year. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I don't ever get my hair cut. I always end up just throwing it on my head, but maybe I'll start doing stuff with it now. Who knows? All right, I'm going to let this sit up for a little bit and then I'll come back and put those chocolate pieces on it. I forgot to tell you guys that I won something because I never win anything and I did. So Wholesale Supplies Plus sends out a lot of newsletters and emails and sometimes I get them and sometimes they just go to my junk folder and I don't know why. But I was checking my junk folder one night and it was like 10 o'clock at night and I saw that they were having a giveaway or a contest anyway. And I was like, well, how do I enter this? Because I didn't see anything on the email to click on in order to enter it. So then I found them on Facebook and I'm like, wow, I'm surprised I haven't liked their Facebook page because I use almost all my products are by Wholesale Supplies Plus. So I went and liked their Facebook page and it was a contest that you post a picture of one of your fall soaps and then you have to like put some hashtag on there and list the products that you use, that you bought from them, and then a link to your favorite fragrance. And so I was like, this ends tonight. Like I found this just in time, so why not give it a go? The prize was $100 of wholesale supplies, wholesale supplies plus items, so you get like a credit to use on their website and so I put the fox soap on there and I listed all the items that I use and just kind of forgot about it but I was like I'm not gonna win this and I did they tagged me in something the next day and I was at work and I was just jumping for joy I was like holy crap I just won a hundred dollars in supplies from Wholesale Supplies Plus that's crazy I never win anything <laughs> but I I didn't expect that. I found it just in time. It was really sitting in my junk folder of my email the night before and I found it. 
And trust me, it didn't take long to spend it. It was stuff in my cart and credit gone. But I did film all of the items that I bought using it, so I will post that at the end of this video. So you guys can see some sneak peeks of future projects that I'm going to be making because I got a whole bunch of fragrance oils and I'm really excited to use them all. So thank you Wholesale Supplies Plus for that opportunity. Alright, so I'm just going to keep putting on more of these little chunks here. Kind of push them in all over the place. Oh, I have to eat this. <laughs> if I, I didn't know any better and I sat out some of these little chocolate pieces, I bet somebody would eat it because it looks just like chocolate and it smells just like chocolate. No lie. And it goes so well with this soap. Little chocolate pieces. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> I'm going crazy over here. Last few pieces. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to this. And I'm going to let it sit for probably 24 hours and we'll come back and cut it and see a little ice cream embed in there hopefully. I'm going to cut off an end piece. That didn't do much good. <laughs> All right, let's see if we got an ice cream shape in here. How excited are you? I'm quite nervous. You don't even know. I, I don't know. Let's see. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Look at that! I put it in there crooked, and then, yep, it's in there crooked. <laughs> Was it on purpose? Yeah, I tried to do that okay. on purpose, and I don't know, maybe it needs to be in the corner a little more, but it looks like a freaking ice cream cone. That's awesome. And I love this gorgeous color. It's like spot on to mint chocolate chip. And even the little specks in there are mint leaves. And they even make it look like a mint chocolate chip. This screams ice cream. You are. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. It's so cute. I love it. TT, hold on one second. I have to go um, get the dog. What is he doing? Is he lost? I can't find him, so I have to go see him. All right, get out of here. We lost the dog. I don't know how he, he gets lost. He's blind. I don't know where he's finding himself, where he shouldn't be, but that's cool. <laughs> Probably in the neighbor's yard. All right, super happy with that. I can't wait to make more little embeds inside of soaps in different shapes. That turned out really good. I am quite proud of that. Maybe different flavor ice cream cones. That's an idea. If you guys are interested in purchasing this, it's going to be available on November 5th alongside the Harry Potter cake. Harry Potter happy birthday cake. Um, and I'm trying to think what, what else is coming out. Oh, you'll see. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. New to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you have a very nice day, and I'll smell you later. My gosh. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. All right. This is what I bought with my $100. I think I went over just a little bit, because why not? And then they have that $6 hand link fee. I think there's a cat in this chair, but it is okay. Um, so yeah, I went a little bit over and just you know, bought a few other things. So if you don't want to see any spoilers, just look away now. Look away. Look away. All right, this was a $40 mold that I've kind of been wanting and eyeing up. I never wanted to spend the $40 to do it, but it is one of the round oh. cylinder-shaped molds that 
shows like that so I can make all the moon soaps that I want now in this instead of using PVC pipes. Although it works, this is going to be a whole lot fun. More fun. Um, oh look, shea butter. Boring. Oh, more shea butter. I know, boring. Love shea butter. How, how about some lye? Boring. It's a big scary <laughs> thing of lye. Where's the good stuff? Vanilla color stabilizer. I know, boring. Here we go. This is this is good stuff. These are all the fragrance oils that I bought. This is the fun part. Of course, they're all wrapped up like green. So um, yeah, let's go in here because I forget even what I bought, but I just went crazy on fragrance oils. Please don't cut yourself. I'm not gonna cut myself. It'll be a good favor. All Thank right, you. so we've got some Victorian rose. You know how much I love Rose, but I have plans for this soap, so let's give that a sniff. <laughs> it smells like roses. <laughs> they really smell like poo poo. poo, poo, poo. All right, this one is called Amberwood. I like to switch up the fragrances in the Space Galaxy looking soaps, so I thought that would be the ne next one. Um, and I try to go with scents that are a little. A little masculine or a little feminine, fem, feminine, Fleminem. feminine, so that anyone can use those soaps because they're just that cool. We've got some jelly donut fragrance. What do you think I'm making with a jelly donut fragrance? I don't know. Oh boy, I could eat that. <laughs> Here, smell that. All right. Oh uh, nope, that's not nope. That's too much jelly for me. Too much jelly. Too much grape. <laughs> grape jelly. Alright, what else is in here? I got a little thing of naughty negligee. I need to smell this. <laughs> Although, <laughs> either smells good or horrible, yeah, well, I, I suppose. Whose negligee I mean, is this? It's just, it's Oh, it's nice. Sweet, it smells very good. It's kind of just a sweet perfumey scent. Yeah. I right. don't even know what the notes are on that. Like floral. I have a Valentine's Day soap in mind for that scent. Then we got a blackberry rose. Sure, it smells like blackberries. And hey, rose. That's better though. I can deal with that. That's not as in your face rose is just plain rose. So mixing it with other things I'm okay with. All right. Moonflower. Ooh. I wonder if that has anything to do with this moon mold. Your mind. Maybe. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Ooh. Mm, I Ooh. really like that. I'm gonna have to get some more of that. And then last but not least, we've got a fresh picked blueberry fragrance. And let's see if it smells like fresh picked blueberries. It smells like blueberries. I don't know. You don't know if it's freshly picked though. No, Gluten-free blueberries. Just, it says it's a Bath and Body Works um, dupe, so that could be what I was not expecting. Oh, I see. <laughs> anyway, hey, I got all of this stuff for free. So happy to use it all. I got to thank Wholesale Supplies Plus for that opportunity. Yay for winning things and spending it all in within the first 50 minutes that I got it. Like I just loaded up my cart and I was like, all right, thank you. I'll take all of that. So. <laughs> I'm sure your cart already had half of this stuff in it. Yeah. Especially this guy. I had my eye on him for a long time. Oh, yeah. Yay. All right. So that's what I got with that. So stay tuned for future projects with these things. Thank you. Thank you.